I'm John Batchelor. This is the John Batchelor Show. Mr. Edward Snowden, self-confessed thief. In his possession, he says, his information from the NSA, the National Security Agency. The National Security Agency secrets are not available to anyone unless you work for them. He was a contractor living in Hawaii for three months, perhaps longer, but working for Booz Allen. He's now in Hong Kong. And the parts of his story that don't work, we'll get into later in the program. Right now, because Gordon Chang of Forbes.com is here with me, I'm going to start with the obvious. Gordon, Mr. Snowden's in Hong Kong, and he gave an interview to the South China Morning Post within these last hours that he's seeking to stay in Hong Kong indefinitely, and he's looking to contact a human rights monitor group. Puzzling behavior. I want to start with the most difficult to understand simplest matter. You're running from the NSA and its security force, sometimes called the Q Group. You've stolen secrets. You've violated a lot of laws I can look at. I don't need to use big words. You're a thief or you say you are. And you go to China. Gordon, can you explain this? What the attraction was? So Hong Kong has good hotels. I, my my, one of my children was there. He says it's terrific food, but is that where you run if you're on the run? No. Uh, people who are on the run from Uncle Sam don't go to jurisdictions that have extradition agreements with the U.S. Right. Now, clearly, you know, uh, Snowden has said that he trusts the courts and the people of Hong Kong to protect him. But history says that Hong Kong always coughs up criminal suspects to the United States. They have a close working relationship with Washington. So the only reason that Hong Kong is not going to give up Snowden is because of China. And the only reason China is going to protect Snowden is if Snowden gives China information that it wants. So clearly what Snowden has done is he's done everything that you would do if you are trying to defect to the People's Republic. It's as simple as that. Some call it defection. Others call it looking for sanctuary. So let's, let's say he's looking for sanctuary in Hong Kong. Gordon, is Hong Kong China? Well, Hong Kong is a special administrative region of China, and it has its own systems, but we have to remember that ever since the handover from Britain to China, 1997, Chinese agents have slipped across the border into Hong Kong, they have actually kidnapped people, brought them back into the People's Republic. This is completely illegal, but it goes on all the time. There is a head of state in Hong Kong, or mayor. His name is Si Wai Long. We've talked about him. He's a controversial figure. He's disregarded. He polls very poorly. Who does he work for? He works for Beijing, and then Beijing elected him. Now, that technically, there is what is called a small circle election in Hong Kong, where you have a group of about 800 people who are chosen by Beijing, who do Beijing's bidding, and they elected quote unquote CY Lung. But clearly CY Lung was Beijing's choice. And people have been saying that CY Lung has been so unpopular recently that Beijing might want to actually get rid of him. Now the only reason why they wouldn't get rid of him is because it would become so transparent that Beijing is actually controlling the process. So maybe CY Lung has a l- little bit tenure on life uh, longer. But the problem really is the political system in Hong Kong is considered to be illegitimate because it is controlled from the top down. And when I say from the top down, I mean the Politburo Standing Committee. All right. Beijing runs Hong Kong. It makes decisions about who can come in, who can leave, and especially if you're a noisy thief from on the lam from the United States and Q Group of NSA looking for you. Okay, fine. That means Mr. Snowden cannot leave Hong Kong unless the Central Committee, the Standing Committee, says so. And it also means his fate is in the hands of the Standing Committee. Maybe they didn't ask for this problem. Maybe he walked in on them. Maybe he's standing there trying to communicate with them through the South China Morning Post. There's not a lot of precedent for this. However, this is the same Standing Committee that jailed a Nobel Peace Prize winner for 11 years. This is the same Standing Committee that uh, abuses Tibet, routinely stomps on the rights of its citizens, right? Same standing committee. They don't have a separate version. Yeah, it's absolutely. This is the apex of political power in China. And these are the seven men who are responsible for crimes against the Chinese people. And these are the seven people who are upsetting the international system. Um, you know, there's 
giving nuclear weapons technology to the Iranians. They're do, trying to grab territory from Japan. They're doing in, involved in all of the these. Greatest wealth transfer in history, says the head of U.S. Cyber Command. Gee, Gordon, there's something of a circle here. Snowden is digitally deft. He works for the NSA as a, as a Booz Allen Hamilton contractor because he's skilled. High school dropout or anything, he's skilled. He steals secrets because he wants to expose the surveillance in the United States. And then he runs into the governance of the people who are stealing from the United States. I can't close the circle, but it seems suspicious. It's extremely suspicious. And it even gets worse, John, because um, a Washington Post reporter gave an interview to CNN's um, Wolf Blitzer a couple of days ago. And, and apparently Snowden had been in touch with the Washington Post. And the reason why this story now appears appears in the Guardian and not the Washington Post is because the Post wouldn't guarantee of putting this story up just before the summit between President Obama and Xi Jinping. So clearly Snowden wanted to affect that summit. Now Snowden has said that American hacking is just as bad as Chinese hacking, which I don't think is true. Um, but clearly Snowden, who not only wants to start this discussion about surveillance in America, also wants to help China. And this is really troubling. Muddy the water. Now, Gordon, in that interview in the South China Morning Post, he mentioned that he had additional information to what he's revealed. And he talked about the ability of the NSA to collect information in China and Hong Kong, correct? That seemed differently, different kind of material than surveillance of the U.S. That sounds like secret stuff, state-to-state -state stuff, which the people in Beijing would want. Well, they definitely would want. And, you know, we talk about the prison program being directed against terrorists, but I'm sure that it's also being used against Russian agents in the United States, as well as Chinese agents in the United States. And I'm sure Beijing wants to know everything that Snowden knows about the NSA's activities that are directed against Chinese intelligence operatives working in the good old USA. It's morning in Hong Kong. We will speak with Hong Kong soon enough. However, Mr. Snowden, no doubt investigating his options. Gordon Chang of Forbes.com in China. I'm John Batchelor.